Discover the captivating story of Ryan Giggs, a football legend whose journey from the streets of Cardiff to the heights of Manchester United fame is as inspiring as it is extraordinary. His story is not all on a positive note. In today's video, his ex-wife open up about the cheating problems and we tell you all about the assault charges. Ryan Giggs, born in Cardiff, Wales, to Danny Wilson, a rugby union player, and Lynn Giggs had a childhood marked by the influence of sports and cultural diversity. His early years in Ely, a Cardiff suburb, were filled with football and rugby, playing informally and nurturing the skills that would define his future career. His mixed-race heritage, with a grandfather from Sierra Leone, brought challenges, including experiences of racism that shaped his resilience and character. The family's relocation to Swinton, Greater Manchester, due to his father's career shift to rugby league, was a pivotal moment for young Giggs. This move, while difficult, introduced him to new footballing environments, enhancing his exposure and development in the sport. Playing for local team Deans FC, Giggs displayed remarkable talent early on, catching the attention of Manchester City scouts, yet his journey took a significant turn when he captained the Salford boys to victory in a prestigious school competition, drawing even more attention to his prowess on the field. Giggs's potential was unmistakable, leading to personal intervention by Manchester United's legendary manager, Alex Ferguson. Spotted while playing in a youth match, his talent was undeniable, prompting Ferguson to personally ensure Giggs' transition to Manchester United. This marked the beginning of a storied career at the club, where Giggs would evolve from a promising local talent to a globally recognised football icon. His path was further shaped by familial and personal changes, including taking his mother's surname post her remarriage, a move that also symbolised his own emerging individual identity in the football world. Ryan Giggs embarked on his professional football career when he signed with Manchester United on his 17th birthday in 1990, turning professional shortly after. This period marked the beginning of Manchester United's ascent in English football under Alex Ferguson, who had been building a competitive team since his arrival in 1986. Giggs' debut came against Everton in March 1991, signalling the start of his influential presence on the left wing, a position that had seen much rotation since Jesper Olsen's departure. Despite the competition, notably from teammates like Lee Sharp and Danny Wallace, Giggs quickly made the left-wing position his own, demonstrating his exceptional talent and earning a regular spot in the first team. His first full start against Manchester City not only showcased his skill, but also credited him with a goal, boosting his reputation early in his career. The 1991-92 season saw Giggs captaining Manchester United's youth team to FA Youth Cup glory, hinting at his future leadership qualities. His impact on the first team grew steadily, and by the inception of the Premier League in 1992-93, Giggs had established himself as United's first choice left winger, heralding the team's dominance in the league. Giggs' flair, pace and ability to perform in critical games helped Manchester United clinch the Premier League title in the 1992-93 season, ending a 26-year wait for the league title and marking the start of a period of sustained success. His role in the team was further solidified as he contributed to United's first double win in the 1993-94 season, combining effectively with players like Eric Cantona. Off the pitch, Giggs' emergence as a football star brought significant media attention, making him a key figure in football's growing cultural impact during the 1990s. Despite his quiet demeanour, Giggs's on-field performances spoke volumes, earning him back-to-back -back PFA Young Player of the Year awards in 1992 and 1993, and establishing him as a pivotal figure in one of the most successful eras of Manchester United's history. In the 1994-95 season, injuries limited him to 29 Premier League games, impacting his contributions with only one goal as United ended the season without major trophies and saw the Premier League title slip to Blackburn Rovers. Despite these challenges, Giggs showed flashes of his quality, scoring in the Champions League and the FA Cup. Recovering form and fitness, Giggs became pivotal in the 1995-96 season, helping United secure a second double with his standout performances, including a memorable goal against Everton. This period also marked the emergence of the famous class of 92 inches players, with whom Giggs formed a formidable partnership, reshaping United's midfield alongside Roy Keane. In the subsequent seasons, Giggs's European performances grew in prominence, Despite United's failure to secure the Premier League title in the 1997-98 season and falling short in the Champions League, 
Giggs's talent was undeniable, earning praise from peers like Alessandro Del Piero. The 1998-99 season was a highlight, with Giggs instrumental in United's historic treble win, notably providing a crucial assist in the Champions League final. His performances earned him man of the match in the Intercontinental Cup against Palmeiras, further cementing his legacy in United's illustrious history. Ryan Giggs becoming Manchester United's longest-serving player after Dennis Irwin's departure in 2002 remained a crucial figure in the squad. In the years following United's 1999 treble win, Giggs was instrumental in the team's domestic and European campaigns, contributing significantly to their success. He celebrated a decade at Old Trafford with a testimonial match and continued to show his worth on the field, despite a challenging season in 2002. 03 marked by form struggles and media speculation about his future. Giggs' resilience was evident as he bounced back, playing pivotal roles in subsequent matches, including a memorable performance against Juventus in the Champions League. Despite rumours of a move to Inter Milan, Giggs remained loyal to United, where he continued to achieve milestones, including multiple FA Cup victories and amassing over 600 appearances for the club. His dedication to improving his physical condition, notably adopting yoga to combat hamstring injuries, showcased his commitment to maintaining top form, contributing to his enduring legacy at Manchester United and in English football. Born in Cardiff to Welsh parents, Giggs proudly represented Wales at the international level. Despite captaining England schoolboys during his youth, he was never eligible for the senior England team, as eligibility at that level depended solely on the location of the school he attended, Moorside High School in Salford. New rules introduced in October 2009 for the Home Nations Associations would have allowed Giggs to play for England had he not already represented Wales officially. However, Giggs consistently stated his preference for Wales, emphasising his allegiance to the country of his birth and his family's heritage. During his brief tenure with the England schoolboys team, Giggs led the squad in nine matches, winning seven and losing two. Notably, he secured a 4-0 victory over his Welsh counterparts, foreshadowing his future success with the Welsh youth team. Giggs made his mark with Wales, earning 64 caps throughout his international career, albeit without participating in any major international tournaments. His journey began with the Wales Under-21 AS in May 1991, followed by his senior debut against Germany in October 1991, where he became the youngest player to represent the Welsh senior team at 17 years and 321 days. Despite several setbacks, including missing consecutive friendly games due to injury concerns, Giggs demonstrated his commitment to the national team. Throughout his tenure, Giggs faced formidable opponents, including England, in qualifiers for major tournaments. He scored his first senior goal against Belgium in March 1993, contributing to Wales's World Cup qualifying campaign. Despite his retirement from international football in 2007, Giggs remained a pivotal figure in Welsh football, occasionally hinting at a return in exceptional circumstances. In a historic moment, Giggs captained Great Britain at the 2012 Summer Olympics in London, marking his involvement in the Olympics after more than 40 years. He showcased his enduring talent by becoming the oldest goalscorer in the football competition, cementing his legacy as one of the sport's legends. Transitioning to a managerial role, Giggs took on the mantle of leading the Wales national team in 2018, succeeding Chris Coleman. Under his guidance, Wales experienced mixed fortunes in various competitions, culminating in qualification for UEFA Euro 2020. However, Giggs's tenure was marred by personal challenges, leading to his departure from the position in 2022 amid legal issues. On November 3, 2020, Giggs was arrested on suspicion of two counts of assault against his former girlfriend Kate Greville and her sister Emma. He adamantly refuted the allegations. In April 2021, Giggs faced charges of assault causing actual bodily harm to Kate Greville, along with common assault against Emma Greville, and allegations of coercive and controlling behaviour towards Kate. During his court appearance on April 28th, he pleaded not guilty to all charges. The trial commenced on August 8, 2022, with a jury composed of seven women and four men. However, on August 31st, the jury was discharged as they couldn't reach a verdict on any of the charges. Subsequently, on July 18th, 2023, just two weeks before the scheduled retrial, Giggs was acquitted after the Crown Prosecution Service withdrew the charges. The prosecutor disclosed that Kate Greville declined to testify in the retrial, Ryan Giggs's scandalous affair, where he was discovered to have been involved with his brother's wife for eight years, 
caused significant shockwaves when it surfaced in 2011, leading to irreparable damage to the footballer's family and his public image. A decade later, the scandal has resurfaced in the headlines this week, with fresh allegations that Natasha Giggs, Rodri's ex-wife, engaged in infidelity with ten footballers, including Ryan. Natasha Giggs appeared to be in a committed relationship with Rodri, the father of her two children, from 2003 until 2011 when she confessed to having an affair with his brother. In a revealing interview, Natasha admitted to betraying Rodri, even disclosing that she had terminated a pregnancy with Ryan shortly before marrying Rodri in Las Vegas in 2010. At the time of Natasha's confession, Ryan was still married to Stacey Cook, with whom he had children. The affair tore the Giggs family apart, leaving relationships shattered and irreparable. Recently, Rodri Giggs thrust the family drama back into the public eye during an appearance on the James English podcast. Alleging that his ex-wife Natasha had been involved with numerous footballers, Rodri stated that it took him several years to come to terms with the betrayal and rebuild his life. Although he and Natasha now co-parent their children amicably, his relationship with his brother Ryan remains strained and has never fully recovered from the ordeal.